In today's video, we're going to take a look at something that I picked up to enhance some of my portable operating activities. Now, what I have here is the Spider Beam's 12 meter or 40 foot telescoping fiberglass mast. So this thing uh, probably about three and a half feet tall or so, about a meter or so tall when it fully collapsed. It extends out to 12 meters. It's got a rubber cap on either end and weighs about uh, seven pounds, uh, which is uh, not too bad. But I like that it's nice and compact. So the key here is how am I going to keep this upright when I use it to support, say, a wire antenna out in the field? Certainly I can strap it to you know, a tree trunk or maybe even a park bench or something like that. But I also wanted something that would help it uh, work with uh, just mounting it to the back of my truck when I'm sitting in a parking lot or a parking area. Now, of course, the answer is to use one of these very popular two-inch receiver trailer hitch mounted flagpole holders like this one here. Now one of the things you got to look out for is that a lot of these flagpole holders are designed to accommodate up to a two-inch diameter uh, mast and the spider beam uh, 12 meter mast is actually about 2.2 inches, about 55 millimeters. So this particular uh, trailer mount or trailer hitch mounted flagpole holder that I have can accommodate up to about a 2.3 inch diameter or about 58 millimeter mass diameter. So that, that'll be adequate for this, um, for this pole. Now all of the larger diameter flagpole holders that I've found online all had a cap hole on the bottom uh, that kind of closed off the bottom, had a little drain hole to let water and things like that come out. But this cap hole on the bottom presents uh, a couple of problems. One is that it's only the length of this you know, this mount, which is you know a little over a foot, you know maybe a, a third of a meter or so, is all that's going to support this 12 meter or 40 foot mast, and that's not a whole lot. So you're going to get a lot of you know pressure, if you will, here. There's a risk of, of course, of damaging it. So that's one issue. Uh, so the other issue is okay. Well, uh, and because this is only 2.2 uh, or 2.3 inches. I've got to remove the rubber cap off the bottom of the spider beam mask, which means that when you pick that mask up to slip it in here, all the inner sections, the telescoping sections, are all going to fall out. In fact, the smallest one will slip right through the hole on the bottom. And that makes it a little tricky to deploy. So, uh, so what I did is I just took a reciprocating saw or a hacksaw and literally just uh, cut the bottom of that out. So I just cut that, that piece right off of the bottom. So what this allows you to do is when we put it up on the truck now, the mast will slip all the way through and go to the ground. So I can keep the rubber cap on the end of the mast and that'll do a couple of things for me. It'll help anchor the mast to the ground a little bit better than just uh, sitting in the bottom of the tube. It also will keep, uh, by being able to keep that cap on there, will keep uh, the dirt and dust from getting into the bottom and getting in between all the telescoping sections. And probably the most important thing is that it's going to allow the mast to go to the ground probably another foot or foot and a half or so below the bottom of this. So now the support is actually closer to you know a couple of feet, you know maybe about a meter up off the ground. And that's going to give it a lot more leverage to support this very tall mast. So let's go take a look at how to deploy this on the hitch of my truck. Okay, so to deploy this, what we'll do is we'll take the top rubber cap off. This allows us to see where the, the top of the mast is. The nice thing about this spider beam mast is that this top section is actually pretty rigid. So it's going to do really well supporting uh, wire antennas even all the way up at, uh, at 40 feet. So with the top section off, we essentially just slip it into through the bottom of the mount. And then with it all the way up through the mount, you can see I still have my rubber cap on the bottom. So slip it into the two inch receiver of the truck. No need to really put the hitch pin in there, I'm not going to be moving. Then we just let the mast drop down to the ground. And then from there, we can simply just uh, snug up this screw if we want to kind of make it a little bit tighter. And then we can go deploy the rest of the mast. The top section of this mast is actually pretty rigid, so even if you put a, a good wire on the end of that, it's not going to bend over too much. And then just extend this mast by pulling each section up, give it a little bit of a twist we lock each section together and the whole mass all the way up to full 40 feet. Yeah, and here we can see we've got uh, good support you know, for about a full meter off the ground. And then that full 40 meter mast 
or excuse me, 12 meter mast goes all the way up. And uh, that nice 40 foot height makes it really convenient for things like a 40 meter end fed, which is about 68 feet long. You can set it up as a nice sloper or even an inverted V. And certainly you have enough height to do a, a dipole for 75 meters. So just a short video to show you this uh, really cool new antenna deployment system that I hope to use on some future portable and parks on the air activities. Thanks again as always for watching. We'll see you next time.